Mary Dawn with MD's Kindle channel. Don't forget, follow along on YouTube. Subscribe, like, and share. Hit the boop alert button so you know what's going on all week long. Follow us on Instagram and please like and follow us on Facebook. You're going to get all sorts of cool content and bonus videos. Cheers, guys. Hi, everybody, and welcome to our virtual happy hour here at MD's Jindal channel. Welcome in 2022. What are you guys drinking? Are you drinking? Can you even drink today? Let me know. Let me know what's going on with you. Let's have a little virtual happy hour fun. Let's bring in Miss Judy Gannon and see what's going on with her. Hi. Hi, Judy. Happy, happy New Year. Yeah, you too. It's it's 22. It is 2022. My goodness. Unbelievable. We made it. Ugh. Let's, all right. let's all cross our fingers. It's going to be way better. <laughs> now, here's the real question. Are you drinking? No. <laughs> I have a Red Bull. <laughs> I'm not sure who can handle that today. You know, it, it it's a long week between Christmas and New Year's and New Year's Eve being on a weekend this year. I lost my voice yelling and cheering and having a great time all weekend long. Yes, I agree. Oh, my God. And also, before we get into all the good stuff, we just want to say we feel so bad, Betty White. I know. Loved her. Loved her. So great. Anyways. Okay, so the big question is what is your resolution? To keep doing it better. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. That's really good. A lot. I've heard so many really good ones. So you guys, <laughs> if you're drinking, we need to know what you're drinking. If not, what is your New Year's resolution? You know, and if you say dry January, I'm going to go boo on you. Yeah, I agree. I, I'm sticking with just living and loving and doing it better than I can than I did before. <laughs> That's perfect. Ooh. Hi Amanda Hart. How are you? Hi Amanda. Happy New Year. Yeah, I agree. You know, let's just do it better and let's have fun because you just don't know. That's right. But in case, you know, you don't have to go completely dry, you know? It's true, you don't. You know, there's there's other alternatives. You can pick and choose. There's also lower ABV booze and cocktails, and there's non-alcoholic really good stuff. It's true. So I'm going to make you – years ago, we did um, the Kettle One Botanicals. Remember those? I do remember those. Now, you guys, these are lower-proof ABV, so you're not going to pollute yourself full of booze. So they're a lot lower – Less calories and zero sugar. Very nice. So I'm going to make you guys a couple drinks in a second. But also, Whistle Pig Bourbon, which is a really, really popular bourbon, they have just come out with a non-alcoholic rye whiskey for dry January. So this stuff is aged six years. And then what they do is they go back and they undistill it. Isn't that odd? Wow, that is weird. Like, I know with non-alcoholic beer, the reason it costs more money is because I have to make it as regular beer first and then go back and take the alcohol out of it. Well, they definitely made the picture appetizing there with that nice hot coffee and the donuts. <laughs> well, next, what they make a maple syrup also. Oh, so, very nice. Pretty interesting stuff, you know? And yeah. there's also something really cool is... If you're traveling, which a lot of people are, and a lot of people are still, maybe you're watching us stuck in an airport. Because of all the snow? It's true. Can you believe it's snowing and it's so just gorgeous? Oh, South my gosh. Florida? So beautiful in North Carolina. Oh. My uh, A friend of mine sent me some pictures today. They got about two and a half feet last night. Mm. Well, Maker's Mark, which is an excellent, excellent whiskey, they are going to cover your checked bag fees. Oh. Yeah, so this is really cool. So what you do is 
you have to purchase a bottle of Maker's Mark. And it didn't say what size. So that's where you could save some money. Maybe just go and get a little travel size Maker's Mark. You put it in your suitcase, snap a picture, and upload it to their website. And they're going to reimburse you up to $40. Awesome. Way to go, yeah. Maker's Mark. That's right. So yay for Maker's Mark. That's so good. But anyways, my voice is killing me today. <coughs> oh, I know. <laughs> But anyways, so let's talk about what's going to be new in 22. What's, right. Don't tell me another seltzer already. <laughs> <laughs> no, not yet. I haven't seen that okay. yet. But there are three main things. This is craziness. But robots, which makes sense because we can't get any employees, so I guess we're going to get robots. I guess so. And here, you know the Burger Fi burger chain? Yes. This is, in particular, in Jupiter, Florida, right around the corner from us. They have a robot named Patty the Robot, and this robot brings you your food to the table. It'll return your used trays, and he makes quirky little, like, sayings to people. Hey, you, get out of the way. Come at earth. <laughs> That's awesome. So if you guys are near Jupiter, Florida, go to BurgerFi and check out Patty the Robot. It's totally cool. So neat. They're also talking about ghost kitchens, which, ugh, over that. Mm. But 30% 30, 30 of people are saying they're liking it. So ghost kitchens. And here's the kicker, the metaverse. The what? The metaverse. Hmm. Are you familiar? No. Okay, so it's this crazy new online universe, like, inside a computer, okay? Okay. And remember when, I think it was Travis Scott had a concert inside one of those video games last summer or two summers ago? Oh, yeah, I remember that. Just like that. But what they're doing is Facebook is actually starting this metaverse. And they've got things like right now Chipotle, you go in to this game, Roblox, Roblox, I believe it's called. And you go into the Chipotle store, you do fun little activities or whatever, and you can win coupons for free stuff in real life at the Chipotle. Okay. And I guess you can win swag for your little metaverse person or whatever is in there. Hmm. I don't know, but this is gonna be a thing. And so you're gonna find a lot of things like that. You're gonna find like bars where you go into this metaverse wall or mall and walk around. You can stop in a bar and maybe if you order a fake drink, you're going to get a coupon. And then when you go to the bar, you get a drink. Okay. All I can see is more people staying home. And I don't like that. I agree. But at least it's making you win something and you have to go out to use it. Yeah. So those are our three new things to look for. And actually, they're even going to be delivering your food with a drone, which we've seen, but it's going to become normal everywhere. <laughs> I just, oh, my goodness. But let's just get back to fun with, get this, Lay's potato chip vodka. What? what? Yes, 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 yes. And this is not like that Arby stuff, which they've already discontinued. This is a blend of Portland potatoes with the vodka distilled from the Lay's potatoes. They're, they're mixing, they're like mixing a potato in okay. this Lay's potato <laughs> chip vodka. It's so good. And you can only get it online. Now listen up. Shop.eastside.com. PotatoVodka.com. Excuse me, I can't read my writing. And they're only making 1,300 bottles, and they're $40 a piece. So, go get your potato chip vodka. It's super cool. And, you know, the new creative director of Playboy magazine? No. Yeah. Miss Cardi B. Really? Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. <laughs> she has now just launched her Cardi B vodka infused whipped cream. Oh. She's got some flavors here. There's caramel, chocolate, mocha, 
vanilla, strawberry, and it's vodka infused and it's got some kick to it. They I look pretty. It'll go good in the Playboy magazine, right? Yeah, for sure. It would have went really good on my pudding shots. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, definitely. So, okay, let's try this out. I know I've made you, in the past, these drinks. Personally, I've made Judy these drinks. She liked them a lot. I did. But these are going to be a little bit different because I'm over soda water for a while. It's just, it's so overused, you know? Okay. I mean, I know you don't like soda water at all, do you? No, I don't. Jesus, how are you, Jesus? Great for the Super Bowl. You're right. Okay. So, again, we're using a nice stemware just because you can. And it's fun. Oh, you guys, while I make this drink, let me tell you something. I always talk about my mom on the show, and guess what? She's driving down here tomorrow. So, next Monday, I'm getting her on the show. Oh, we have to have her make a drink. <laughs> yes, we do. It's so easy my mom can make it. That's right. It's right. Right in front of you guys. All right. So this is the Kettle One Botanicals Grapefruit and Rose Vodka. And it smells amazing. Ooh. Really so use as much as you want. No rules in 22, everybody. No rules. Okay. So instead of using a soda water, what I was thinking is I am going to use grapefruit with the grapefruit and rose, okay? That sounds good. I know, why not? And grapefruit metabolizes and breaks down all that bad stuff in you. And you can use some fresh sprigs from your garden if you're lucky enough to still have a garden going. I've got some rosemary here, I'm sticking some rosemary in, and I'm gonna throw in a basil. A nice mm. little, always smack it. Smack it, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, ready? Stick that bad boy in there. And let's just try this out. It's pretty, isn't it? Very pretty. Okay. It smells so flavorful. Oh, my God. It's great. You could maybe top it with a little 7-Up. I know you'd like that a little bit more, Judy, but I like it's very sour and very um, puckery. Nice. But it smells so good. And that's half the flavors. When it's going up your nose, the smell hits your taste buds first. That's excellent. Okay, we're going to set that aside. And let's, I've been dying to try this one. This one is cucumber and mint. Okay. Ooh, I've had that one. You made me a, a fancy martini with it. Yes. Okay. Cucumber, mint. And then we're using pineapple juice. Okay. And not to be anything, but you know what they say about pineapple juice. Just saying. <laughs> That's a, oh, I'm going to say some fresh. That's it. I'm going to drop some fresh mint right in here on top of that for you. And that's it. I'm going to take a little cucumber garnish. And look at that. It even looks, it's just so pretty. Look at that. Oh, my God. It is pretty. Let's just give it a little sip and see which one I like better. Oh, my God. Ooh, okay. So this one is to die for. This one's excellent. This one is very, very good, but it's very floral. Okay. So I'm not sure. Mary's going to smack me if I drink too many of those. They look so <laughs> They are delicious. They are. The pineapple one is very floral? Yes. Well, no, no. Yeah, we use the pineapple with, no, we use the grapefruit with the grapefruit rose. That was yes. floral, but the pineapple with the mint, it works. It's very, very good. Nice. I like it a lot better. Maybe because I like, I like mint. Maybe. But the mint, the cucumber, all that works really good. And you know what? You can find these anywhere. There's a third one called Orange Blossom. But I didn't try that one yet. Okay. These are nice, you guys. So, Kettle One Real Botanicals, definitely something to try. If you're looking to get, you know, just keep get yourself a little back on track this January because, you know, you don't have to go dry. Just go a little easy, you know? It's true. 
no big deal. You know, if you're if you're drinking too much beer, switch to vodka. <laughs> yeah. I have to tell you, so we just got back from the Bahamas Paradise Cruise. And, and how was it? Oh, my God. One word was fantastic. Great. It really was. I've never had weather so beautiful in my life on a cruise. I always, nice. I'm the one that gets rained on, you know? <laughs> but it was great. And I have to say that, thank God... For my booze bandage. Oh, it saved you, huh? I was giving these things out all over the ship. I was telling everybody, try it out, try it out. So we were there, obviously, for New Year's Eve. And I have a cool video I want to show you guys. This was, well, okay. This was the countdown. The countdown right at New Year's Eve. And I don't know where all these people came from because when I got on the boat, there was nobody there. <laughs> <laughs> and in the video, there's more people that I've ever seen in my life on this boat. Wow. It was great. It was really nice. Oh, I see Lala and Izzy kissing. <laughs> I know. It was It was really, you know, you had to wear a mask. You had to wear a mask. So they, you know, I, I think just at this particular moment, there wasn't a lot of social distancing. Okay. But it gets scary, but, you know, but thank God for the boost bandage. And, you know, last week I told you guys that there was a champagne shortage. Nah. Not at all. You should see the amount of champagne that this place had busted open for it. I, I, I couldn't believe it. That's great. Absolutely unbelievable. There's definitely not a champagne shortage, at least not in West Palm Beach, Florida. <laughs> but it was fun. It was really nice. Um, they are converting the Bahamas Paradise Cruise Line to Margaritaville at sea. That's going to be fun. And that's going to happen April 1st. So a lot of the staff was leaving and they're going to be back. Our amazing server, Erol, from Jamaica, he was leaving. He'll be back April 1st for the new boat. They're okay. putting new floors. They're doing all new walls. And the staterooms will be all done differently. They're going to have the Jimmy Buffett, um, the burger places that he's got on the boat. Nice. Don Perignon for sure. No, they, they were pouring Don, but, you know, <laughs> it was good. There was a lot of champagne. Oh, there's me. My New Year's Eve dress. That was fun. Very nice. Look at that sick amounts of champagne. Those were just empty bottles. Whew. I know. I know. Crazy. And there's a little social distancing of the group I was with. That was cool. Good. So that was very good. And here's me in the Bahamas. And this is the sad part. That is Rum Runner's Bar and Grill, which a friend of mine owns in Freeport in Grand Lucaya. And it was closed. Aww. And I was so sad. They did tell me that it does reopen when ships come into port. But, I mean, we were on a ship in port and it wasn't open. And it wasn't open. <laughs> I'm confused. Everything was pretty closed. And, you know, my feelings go out to the people over in the Bahamas because they just keep getting smacked by these hurricanes and all that. Yeah. But, you know, it's great. And, again, like I said, thank God for the booze bandage. This thing works. I, I, I don't have any problem telling you how good this is. Unbelievable. But I'll tell you what. Wow, that's what I was called. So, yeah, I'm telling you. That was celebrating. It was insane. It was beautiful. Food was excellent. Like I said, our servers were great. And I can't wait to go back for the new ship. So thank you to Bahamas Paradise Cruise Line for having us. Very nice. And so, did I see? And did I see that you had one of the same servers that you've had since like 1995? Oh my God, yes. Errol. That's awesome. <laughs> it, it, it's like Egg Roll without the G's. His name, Errol. Okay. And way back in the 90s, there was a boat out of Fort Lauderdale called the Regal Empress. And they used to dance, like, you know, the big ships, they dance around the dining room. It's, you know, everything. They do everything on it. I met him there in 1995 and then the Regal Empress 
it got scrapped and they had the Bahamas celebration. Then they got scrapped and then the classic. <coughs> And he just keeps going with the boat, and I just keep re-meeting him every time. And he has been serving me for years. He is wonderful. That's awesome. Yep. Absolutely great. So everything's good about it. And if you just want a two-day cruise, that is the one you need to go on. It's reasonable, and they treat you right, and you don't have to drive far. Yeah. And the food is really good. It is. It is. You know, but... Anyways, I loved it. It was great. We missed you, Judy. Next time, I can't wait. You need to be there with us. Yes, yes, we will. But it was good. It was a good group of people. We had a great time. So That's awesome. So that's really all for today. But I just wanted to uh, give some acknowledgement. One of our sponsors, Exchange of America, which is a currency exchange company. You guys, if you're starting to travel, I know this COVID stuff's going crazy, but if you're starting to travel, it is so easy and convenient. All you do is go online exchangeofamerica.com or any of their social media platforms they're on them all you order your currency it's dropped in the mail that day they process your order that day they mail it out you could probably have it in a day or two at the longest and it's the only currency exchange company doing that in all of america very cool it is it's great and they happen to be local here in south florida so, like I said, Exchange of America, and thank you to Booze Bandage for supplying us with hangover relief from a crazy week. Thank you. KG Pro Renovations, thank you. Inkhead Graphics, thank you for great shirts, bogeys and stogies, and the General Fort Pierce, of course. Thank you to everybody, and thank you to Judy. You guys, there's a QR code right here. All the information is right there. You can just take a snap right there, and you know exactly what's going on. But until further, next week, Judy, when we get my ma here, thank you and cheers. Bye-bye. Cheers. <laughs>